So I'll be talking about the transmission control protocol, the TCP and internet protocol IP. So this is the diagram of how a message is transmitted by using TCP or IP. So firstly the TCP in which a message to send a message, the message is divided into packets, pieces, one by one, and it's sent by one by one to the receiver. When it reaches to the receiver, the destination, so it reassembles the received data packets into a single data file so that the receiver can read it. So now the internet protocol which is responsible for adding the destination IP address which is this step in the overall process for routing the packet to destination through the network server this is the destination IP is also responsible for packet fragmentation because the maximum size allowed on some network server may be smaller than the size of the original packet, so it's divided and in the end it's reassembled by the TCP. So the TCP is a transport layer protocol in the OSI 7 layer model and the IP is the network layer in OSI 7 layer model.